Holla at your boy, holla at your Rob Roy, holla at your Miles JL, not in the building, but we still here. Let's get into the video. Like, comment, subscribe, and don't forget the thumbs up. All right, let's get into the video. Guys, let me uh, go into this guy. You know, tie whole nation around here. Yeah. I want to get into this uh, video about uh, how alignments. Hopefully, you, uh, this is uh, gonna do something for y'all as well. Is it? Uh, let me see if I find my keys. All right, gotta find my keys to straighten out the wheels for you. <sighs> see that big boy uh, radio right there. Let me straighten out the wheels. If you see what I mean by straighten out the wheels right there. So I'm put a nice grid on this. All right. Oh, uh, we up in the building. All right, let me give you a round about the rims. I know y'all come here probably gonna check out, since I'm showing it. It's a 99 Tahoe if you wanted to know. Tahoe Sport, whatever. We in a whiz. But, uh, you know, I painted painted the uh, rims to match the, the car. So you gotta do that, clean up some of that rust at the bottom. You know, that's anything, cause we in the Midwest. We in the Midwest, it's just like that. Now I found out this method about how to uh, do an alignment on your car. Because so I found out this method, how to do alignment. I'm gonna have to show you on this bigger one. The, the lifted Tahoe. And then I'm gonna come back to that one to show you, all right? So um, this method of uh, aligning your car on a budget <laughs> or just a free way of aligning it or just to get you close if, uh, cause sometimes I've just found out personally that, you know, if you're trying to do something big, they're gonna say that they can't do it. They're gonna say, we don't either that we don't do big rims, which has nothing to do with the alignment. And they're gonna say, um, we don't do lifted. We don't do lifted trucks which also has nothing to do with the alignment. They just don't want to do it. You know, just cause it's a little bit outside they normal. Um, so you don't want to do it. So let's get into the video. So how he explained it is when your wheels eclipse each other, first you gotta have your wheels straight. I'm gonna you have your wheels straight and you want to have your steering wheel straight. But how he explained it, how the wheels eclipse each other is that it's how you know when they're straight. So you gotta get the wheels straight you also gotta have even tread on your tires. So you don't want no um, slanted, sagging tires, right? So wheel straight, even ground. You wanna step back, probably y'all say, let me count this, let me look step at this. Step back 20 feet. 20 feet or so you wanna step back, all right? So here we go. So you can, I'll get closer for you guys to see the same effect that I'm seeing. Uh, but right here, you see the back wheel, cause it got a eclipse. The back wheel got to get a nice even eclipse on the front wheel. All right, so here we go. You see what I mean? So right there. You see how the wheels are starting to eclipse each other? You see that little right there? When they, they should, so they should line up exactly about right there. That's how you know you got a good alignment. Let me see this side. So you step back, that's why you gotta step back about 20 feet. 20 feet, and you gotta get about, I'll say, um, a foot off the ground. Two feet maybe, depending on how big your rims are. So you see that back tire, it's gonna eclipse the front tire. It should be every even, so boom, right there. You see, you even see the wheel when I, when I bring it out a little bit, you see that back wheel. I mean, the front, the back of the front wheel, you see the, you see the chrome. And you see it all just start going away at the same time. I think I'm gonna call it the eclipse method. That's the only thing I, I don't know if it is called that, but that makes the most sense to me. When that wheel evens up, because when it's off, you'll see you'll see the difference. Like this, my other one right here, I'm gonna go back to this one. This one I fixed with it was this one because nobody would do an alignment on it because they say it was lifted. And some people said the rims was too big. You know, I get every excuse around here, so. But this was pointed out up top. It's pointed out, it was like uh, towed out, that's what they call it. When it's pointed outward, it's called tow out, and when it's pointed in, it's towed in. But this one was way towed out. So, 
what happened is I, I did use that method and after that when it's tow I was jerking all over the uh the road so I end up um so what I end up doing is we got two different rest sets of rims that's another thing because now they're talking about people don't want to do big tires around here so I gotta find a special place to do big big rims big boy rims so um you know I'm trying to give y'all some some nourishment and some videos I'm not trying to just all right and then the other way you do it you can line it up the, the rear way so the rear so then you go to the rear and you do the same thing so right there right there you see how it goes you want it to all eclipse at the same time right there all right you see what i'm talking about you have the eclipse it's tired a little bit torn but the rear doesn't even matter but you the rear, you want to make sure your tires are not canted just normally. So you have a heavy clip Hyundai, Hyundai, or Hyundai, Hyundai element that the rims are just naturally canted in the back. So it would be hard to do. <laughs> um, but yeah. All right. So um, yeah, I just got this one. Got doing a little work on it. Had a problem with the AC. This whole thing was a. Uh, few things with it you know i like it but it's uh, a few problems with it but that's another video so i made i wanted to give you this video probably last week sometimes it's the summer of 2020 i wanted to hit you with this video last week but i just kept forgetting my it's actually my son's phone so he do all the videos through his he got the newest phone in the house go figure but um yeah so definitely so guys if y'all got any problems or uh, Got any questions about this method? I'm getting it. the lighting ain't killing y'all. Y'all got any problems or any questions about this method? Let me know because um, it worked out almost damn near perfect for me um, using it on this uh, this beauty right here because nobody would do the alignment on the lifted. And if someone was saying we don't do big rims, which makes no difference of how the alignment is. And uh, so I'll tell you, show you what controls the alignment that controls the tie rod so inner and out that's the toe and then these other ones control the top i'm gonna show you what the other the top ones. of the uh the upper a arm those are the other ones that control the alignment don't mess with those if you can don't mess with those all right all right if this video helped you out don't forget to like share comment subscribe to the channel um if you like tie holes or you like seeing me and my son just do random things um yeah, till next time. I'll let your boy, I'll let your Rob Roy. Um, also, um, yeah, just keep it going. Me uh, popping out content on the regular. And um, anything you like, let me know. Or I got an idea of a video or something that didn't get covered in the video. Um, be sure to, to comment or say something down there. I read most of my comments. So, all right. And stay tuned for the giveaway. This thing's still on.